Welcome into the world of HTML. 3. Boot up your computer. Windows sign in dialog. 2. Grab some comfort food. 1. And let's go. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl V Queen here and I'm back with another smashing video in the HTML series. Yes, the HTML series is back, but don't worry, I'll get to your other suggestions as well. It's just that the HTML series got the most votes, so I am doing it first. Of course, in between the HTML videos, you'll be seeing your other suggested videos as well. But let's get into this video. Now, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make comments and also how to use links in your web pages. But before we get into it, please be sure to like the video if you love the content, subscribe if you're new, and to turn on the notification bell to be alerted whenever I post the next video. Also note that the instrumental for this video have been provided by Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD. But without further ado, let's get right into it. A comment is any text that will not be displayed or executed. They are really only there to help document your source code. Now this is good to make note of what each block of code was meant to do. Comments can also be used in a case where you want to hide some content temporarily. Now to write a comment in HTML, the syntax is less dash dash I love fried chicken dash dash greater than. All right, so let me go through it by character. Less bang dash dash space cap I space L O V E space F R Y space C H I C K E N space dash dash greater than please note that there's an exclamation mark in the starting tag but there is none in the ending tag so you'd put your comments in between those tags and ensure that there's a space in between the text for the comment and the tag itself also note that your comments do not have to be limited to one line everything that you put in between those comment tags will be hidden and that is it for comments really i don't think i need to demonstrate this because it's pretty straightforward now you guys can use this to be able to go through and comment out your code it's just for that use only so i don't have to demonstrate it now let's get into links now by now everybody should know what a hyperlink is hyperlinks allow us to be able to navigate from page to page in order to create links in html we use the anchor tag and this is represented by the letter a the syntax for the anchor tag is less of ref equals right quote url right quote greater than text for link less slash a greater than let me go through it by character less a space h r e f equals right quote u r l right quote greater than cap t e x t sp f o r sp l i n k less slash a greater than now you must be wondering what is that h r e f for in the anchor tag remember earlier on in the series when i did a video on attributes yes the h r e f is actually an essential attribute used in the anchor tag this attribute indicates the destination of the link so where it said url is where you'd put the url of where you want the link to go and where it said text for link is where you'd put the text that would be displayed to the user when the user clicks on the link text they would be sent to the url that you specified in the href attribute so now let's demonstrate the use of the anchor tag so let's go into our index.html file that we have been using since the start of this series web series window items view list index.html one of one all right now i'm gonna open it context menu google chrome g n web index.html dash notepad text editor edit multi-line less doc type html awesome now remember that only what is in between the body tag will be shown on the website so let me go under the heading that we have within the body tag to insert this link less a less two sp less meta name less 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 no less body greater than two space less h1 greater than less b greater than welcome to my website less slash b greater than less slash h1 greater than awesome now let's go to the end of this line and press enter to go into a new line carriage return then let's keep consistent with our two spaces space space now let's put our opening anchor tag so less a 
Then, before closing the opening tag, we put a space. Space. Then put our href attribute. href equals equals open quote quote. Now, I actually have the link to my website copied onto my clipboard. So, let me paste it in here. Then, I will close the quotes. Quote. Then, you'd put your greater than sign. Greater than. Now, we have closed the opening anchor tag. So, now we can put the text for the link. So, let's put click here. Caps lock on. Cap C. Caps lock L. I. C. K. Space. Caps lock. Cap H. Caps E. R. E. Then we can close the anchor tag. So, less. Slash. A. Greater than. So, your line should read. Less of ref equals quote HTTPS colon slash slash the quin dot versal dot app slash quote greater than click here less slash a greater than. Awesome. Now, let's save the file and go to open it on our browser. So, control plus S. Then, let's go over to our website folder. Web series window. Items view list. Index.html one of one. Now let's open it in our browser of choice. Context menu. Google Chrome G. Web series window. TQ test website dash Google Chrome. Awesome. Now let's do control home to go to the top. Heading level one. Welcome to my website. Now the link should be right under this. So let's press my down arrow. Visited link. Click here. Awesome. Now you realize that it says visited link. This is because the link that I put on this text here is the link to go to my website. And I have been on my website a countless amount of times. So it will say visited link. And if I should click enter on this. Document busy blank. Home dash the Quinn. Awesome. So I'm on my actual website. Banner landmark link skip navigation. Welcome to my website. There you go. So it actually brought me to my website. I know you guys may be wondering, how do I get back to the actual website that I clicked the link. Well, if you try doing your control plus tab to switch in between tabs, as you can see, that doesn't work. And this is because by default, when using the href attribute in the anchor tag, it opens up the link in the tab that you were currently in. But what if I wanted it to open into a separate tab? Well, that is where the target attribute comes in. Now, this attribute tells the browser exactly where to open the link. As I said before, by default, all links are opened in the current tab. However, the target attribute has four possible values. The first one is underscore self. Now, this is the default value of the target attribute. So therefore, it doesn't need to be specified. And of course, this is the value that opens it in the current tab. The next one is underscore blank. Now this value actually opens the link in a new tab and that is what we want right now. But we'll come back to this because there are two other possible values. The other one is underscore parent, which opens the link in the parent frame. The last one is underscore top, which opens the link in the body of the full window. Now the syntax when using the target attribute is target equals right quote value right quote. If I should go through by character, T A R G E T equals right quote V A L U E right quote. Awesome. Now let's demonstrate the use of this target attribute. So let me go back to that index.html file. Index.html dash notepad. Text editor edit multi line two space less of ref equals quote. Now I'm going to move from the end of this line. Carriage return. And go back to the starting anchor tag right before the greater than sign after the href attribute here less slash a greater sp k c i l cap c greater than then i'm gonna put a space in between the href attribute and the greater than sign space then let's type our target attribute so you'd put target t a r g e t then the equal sign equals and remember that we want this link to open up into a new tab so we're going to use the underscore blank value. Quote, line, B, L, A, N, K, quote. Awesome. Now let's save this. And let me actually close the instance of Google Chrome that I had open. TQ test taskbar. Now let's move over to our website folder and open that file again. Web series window. Items view list. Index dot. All right. Let's open it. Context menu. Google Chrome G. Web series window. TQ test website. Awesome. Now let's press Ctrl plus Home. 
Heading level 1 welcome to my website. And the link should be right under here. Visited link click here. Now let's click the link. Untitled dash Google Chrome dash the document busy blank home dash the Awesome, so it still takes me to my website and if I should do control plus tab no TQ test website doc There you go, you see that two tabs are now open. One with the website that we created and the second one is my website that I linked within that index.html file. Now when using the href attribute, two types of URLs can be used. You can use either an absolute or a relative URL. So far, we have been using an absolute URL, which is a full web address. We could have also used a relative URL to direct the link to another page of our website. A relative URL is basically an absolute URL, but excluding the HTTPS colon slash slash www dot. Now, in order to demonstrate the use of relative URLs, first, we're going to have to create another web page. So let me open a blank notepad document. Start window. Search and notepad. Untitled dash notepad. Blank. All right. So remember that every HTML web page must start with the less doc type HTML tag. Less caps lock on. Bang. Cap capo. Cap C. Cap T. Cap Y. Cap P. Cap E. Space. Caps lock off. H. T. M. L. Greater than. Less doc type HTML greater than. Then press enter to go down into a new line. Now, let's put our starting and closing HTML tags. Less HTML greater than Enter. Less slash HTML greater than Now let's go back up to the starting HTML tag. Less HTML greater than Go to the end of it. Carriage return. And press Enter. Now remember that anything that we want to be displayed on the website should be within the body tag. So let's put our opening and closing body tags. Less B O D Y greater than enter then less slash b o d y greater than awesome now let's put a simple heading and line of text so let's go back up to the starting body tag less body greater than then go to the end of the line carriage return then press enter now this heading that we're about to create and the line of text will be nested within the body tag so let's just keep consistent with the two space indentation that we have been using throughout this series so space space now let's put our heading level one less h1 greater than and right here we will just type second page s e c o n d space p a g e then close the tag less slash h1 greater than then press enter keep consistent with our two spaces space space now let's put a line of text less p greater than let's say this is our second page T H I S space I S space O U R space F E C O N D space P A G E dot. Then close the tag. Less slash P greater than. All right. So if I read it from the top, you should have no indent less doc type HTML greater than less HTML greater than less body greater than two space less H one greater than second page less slash H one greater than. Less p greater than this is our second page dot less slash p greater than no indent less slash body greater than less slash html greater than awesome now let's save this document so control plus s save as dial now what we're gonna do we're going to save this file in the same folder as that index.html file so we're gonna save it within our website folder so let me find that folder item tree view this pc collab d desktop item w Web series 10 of 11. All right, then let's tab over to file name. Item file name colon. Now let's give it a name. Let's call it second.html. S E C O N D dot H T M L. Then let's tab over to the file type. Save as type colon combo box text document. Now let's down arrow to all files. Expanded. Save as type colon list. All files left. Then we can shift tab back over to file name. Save as dialog. Then press enter. Second.html dash notepad. Awesome. Now what we're going to do is to link this other page that we have created within our main index.html file. So let's go over to it. Index.html dash notepad. Text editor edit multi line two space less of ref. All right. Now let's put the link right under the heading. So let's go back up to the heading. Less h1. 
then go to the end of the line carriage return then press enter then keep consistent with the two spaces space space now let's put our opening anchor tag less a then put a space space now the href attribute h r e f equal sign equals open quotes quote now this is how relative urls work if the file that you want to link to is within the same folder of the file that you want to link it from all you'd have to do is to type in the name of the file including its extension if it's within a folder in the same folder of the file that you're linking it from say for instance within our website folder we have another folder called web pages what you would do is to put the name of the folder so that's web pages then slash the name of the file including its extension so since the file is in the same folder that we have here we would just type in the name of the file so s e c o n d dot h t m l then we'll close the quotes quote then we'll put the greater than sign greater than then let's put some text G O space T O space T H E space N E X T space P A G E. Then put the closing anchor tag. Less slash A greater than. Awesome. Now we can save this file. So Control plus S. Now let's go back over to our web series folder and open the index.html file. Web series window. Items view list. Index.html one of two. All right. So let's go ahead. Context menu. Google Chrome G. Web series window. TQ test web. All right, control home. Heading level one. Welcome to my website. Down arrow. Link go to the next page visited. Link click here. And you realize that the two links are in the same line. Now that is because we didn't use the line break tag that I showed you guys in one of our last videos. But we can just get to our first link by pressing the home key. Out of link link. G. Then press enter. Heading level one. Second page. Awesome. So you see, it brought me onto the second page. If I should down arrow. This is our second page. And there we go. Now, let me close this. Web series window. Now, let's show you an example of if it was within a folder within the same folder. Now, I'm in the web series folder. So, let me create another folder. So, Control Shift N. New folder edit selected new folder. Now, let's call this folder Bob. B. O. B. Then press enter. Bob one of three. Now, let's go back up to our second.html file. Index. Second.html three of three. Now let's cut it. So Control X. Let's go back up to Bob. Bob one of three. Enter. Bob. Then paste it in. So Control V. Items view list. Second.html one of one. Awesome. Now let's go back to our index.html file to edit that href attribute. Index.html dash notepad. Text editor edit multi line two space less a ref equals quote second dot html quote greater than go to the next page less slash a greater than. All right. Now we are going to add in the name of the folder here. So less a ref equals quote second dot r e f equal quote s. Right here we are going to put Bob B O B and then slash slash all right so it's just like a regular file url then we're gonna save it then let's go back to the web series folder web series window items view list bob one let's go back to index.html index.html two of two now let's open it context menu google chrome g web series window tq test website dash google chrome dash the control home Heading level one, welcome to my website. Down arrow. Link go to the next page visited. Link click here. Out of link link. G. Now let's open it. Heading level one, second page. Awesome. So you see that works. And that guys is it basically for comments and for links in HTML. You can also transform images and buttons into links, but we can get into that a little later on when we're actually handling those tags. But that is it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. This was a quick one, but it was an essential one because links are an essential part of our web pages because now we can be able to use our links, especially as navigation links. So at the top of the page where we usually have our navigation bars, our links to your social media. Now this is what you would use this anchor tag to do. Well, that is it 
for this video hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did i love your comments so you can leave your comments down below the link to the transcript will be down below in the description don't forget to like the video if you love the content subscribe if you're new and turn on my notification bells to be alerted whenever i post the next video also share it around don't be mean don't sit on the information share it with your friends share it with all the persons you know remember one share equals one love so thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time